Jeff, VACC engages government in the review of legislation and regulations. What is at the top of our list of government work? Um, at the moment, David, it's the Victorian Road Safety Regulations, and they've been under periodic review, and we've been very heavily engaged in providing advice to the Victorian Government on this, and we made a significant uh, response through, uh, through their regulatory impact statement. Um, this week, the Government's office, through Ben Carroll's office, have released a summary of their recommendations, and these can be found on the link attached to this message. Um, the Act touches on almost all divisions and the regulations, but those members it affects most will be those undertaking roadworthies and those that are connected to club cars. A VACC took a very strong stand uh, through this exercise on early suggestions around what we would call a watering down of the roadworthiness scheme uh, that was discussed in the RIS and we pointed out the obvious safety implications for motorists and the public around this. Uh, the recommendations as they stand have supported our position, which means the roadworthiness scheme in Victoria remains very much the way it is now, and we would expect to see that reflected in the regulations as they come through near the end of the month. There's a focus in the recommendations around club permits and club cars, and particularly around higher penalties, and penalties, for financial and, and uh, penalty points for people abusing their permits, so be prepared for that. The new regulations will come through into effect on the 30th of September and there's a number of links below. One is a link uh, to our response to the regulatory impact statement and there's also a link to a bulletin that went out today. Uh, we will provide another update once the regulations are actually out and set, um, but for all members holding on to the roadworthiness scheme in its current form is a great win.